Well, this month's Coachella Valley Spotlight Grant recipient is a relative newcomer to the Valley, but one with long ties to our community and all of Southern California. It's an organization that has literally saved thousands of lives. The Loma Linda University Children's Hospital is honored this month, specifically the Jill and Barry Golden Pavilion in India, which now serves thousands of local kids right where they live. Jill and Barry Golden had a vision, and once they teamed up with Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, that vision became a reality, and the Indio Clinic was born. Whereas once kids from the Valley and their families had to drive nearly two hours each way to get services at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, now this clinic serves the families of the Valley here in the Valley. The facility opened in 2018. Uh, it is the only pediatric urgent care in uh, this region. It's also a space where all of our specialists come so that our families don't have to travel all the way back to Loma Linda. The facility in Indio not only saves travel time for patients and their families, but improves health care access for the entire valley. A lot of our families have really enjoyed it, having um, quality care that's local and available to them. As you said, a lot of them were traveling back to Loma Linda, so you know the time that it takes, especially for follow-ups, um, emergent evaluations, all of that we're able to do here. Um, at a convenience to them. The grant is specifically tasked toward helping the new pediatric sports medicine practice as it starts to serve Valley young people and help them stay active in the harsh elements of the desert. We're really appreciative of this, of this grant. You know, the idea is that it takes some um, startup costs to kind of build our sports medicine services. And so with that startup cost, we're able to offset some of the equipment that we need, not only here in the clinic, but also to provide care out in the field where our athletes are. So that money is going to be going towards supplies, startup costs, um, equipment, AEDs that we can have on the field so that you know, if an athlete does go down, we have what we need to do to resuscitate them and to you know, keep somebody alive. This creates a unique opportunity for collaboration with local schools and youth organizations. We work with uh, different community providers to let them know that we have in clinic, but a lot of what our Services are marketed towards are towards the school nurses, athletic trainers, and athletic directors at the school. You know, say they have an athlete that has an injury that needs to be seen, they're able to contact our clinic right away, get in, get an evaluation, and get onto the road to recovery. And with kids coming off significant downtime thanks to the global pandemic, the need now is greater than ever. I see we, we've seen it in all the professional sports that there are a higher number of injuries this year, and we're expecting um, that, especially in our children. You. you know, there was uh, a great opportunity for a lot of them to get engaged in sports again last spring with um, with some of the easing of restrictions but we expect this year more more athletes to come back and participate and with that if they haven't been active uh, as much as they'd like to have done during the year then uh, you know they, it takes a period of time to get reconditioned to your sport and we are seeing unfortunately a number of injuries related to that. In addition to the sports medicine services, the Indio Clinic provides primary care, urgent care, and specialty and dental care for kids right here in the Valley to make all of our futures healthier.